What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In the previous video, we ended it in the middle of an epic battle between Hisui and Lin, and Hisui just sort of unlocked superhuman strength or something by using some sort of a different tone on the flute for herself, unlocking just extra power for herself, power that she normally doesn't have. And the mysterious man was actually seemingly looking on uh, at this battle from a distance, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. Uh, hopefully Lin can either, hopefully we can escape or we can defeat Hisui, as unlikely as that may seem, but there's only one way to find out. Hisui is no longer a human. She's a monster in woman's clothing. Get out of here, while I hold her off! Lin prepares her tonfus. Ah! Lin charges at Hisui, keeping her stance. But um, as I try to stop Lin, my heart beats hard. The world suddenly loses all color and sound. It feels like the time around me has stopped. Your blue butterfly in action. That feeling again. What? Oh, we, oh, it's Lin. I thought it was from Tadayoshi's perspective. No, wait. This is Tadayoshi's perspective. Huh? Why is that butterfly green? Not blue. A green butterfly flies in front of me. I've seen blue ones several times, but it's the first time I've seen a green one. Is that... Veridis? The thing that the guy mentioned before? I recall what the man in black told me when I met him. <gasps> oh my god, are they gonna merge into one super butterfly? <gasps> A blue butterfly is here too! What's going on? Oh yeah, look at that. They're gonna make butterfly babies. A blue butterfly appears, as if it's attracted to the green one. And those two butterflies fly into one another overlapping themselves. Then a blinding flash catches my attention. After that, visions start to stream into my brain. The vision shows Lin charging into Hisui. As Lin goes to Hisui's right, Lin catches uh, or Hisui catches Lin's arm as if she were waiting for that. Then Hisui chokes Lin and the vision goes staticky and the color returns to the world. When the world is once again in color, I see Lin is charging towards Hisui. It's just as I saw before now. I'll pretend I'm going to attack from the front, but I'll attack from the right. I hear Lin's thoughts in my head, and my vision changes at the same time. Am I seeing what Lin sees right now? I don't know what happened, but it seems I'm tapping into Lin's thoughts and sight. Lin, go left, not right. I shout at Lin, remembering the vision I saw. B -b Bam! Oh no! What? She looks so sad. The look on her face. What? What's this? What's going on? Lin was charging towards Hisui, but she suddenly sees the vision inside her head. The vision tells her that if Lin steps right, Hisui catches Lin. Then chokes her. The vision, uh, the visions Tadayoshi just saw and is remembering are playing inside Lin's head. Lin, go left, not right. Tadayoshi's scream echoes inside Lin. Ah! Lin quickly jumps to the left. Hmm. <laughs> Sui's left hand grabs nothing but air, but she keeps going after Lin. Ah! Lin hits, uh, Lin hits Hisui's extended arm with a tafa. Bam! Oh! When the attack lands on Hisui's arm, she can't help but let out a scream. Lin, are you okay? Yeah, you helped me. But what did I really see? I saw a vision of her choking me, and I reacted to your shout, and quickly acted as you said. Lin seems to be confused. Did she see the same vision as mine? Hey, did you see the same thing that I did? I can sense her curiosity and confusion. 
It's more like becoming her than sensing her. It feels very strange. Feels very strange, huh? That's what I wanted to say. This confirms that Lin can see my thoughts clearly. And I can see her thoughts clearly as well. Oh yeah, we're connected. You can see my thoughts clearly, you say? Heh, <laughs> now I know how it feels to have your mind read. It's not a pleasant experience. I agree with that. But I think we can defeat Hisui with this. I don't know how it really works, but Lin and I are sharing minds. We're sharing not only what we think, but also what we see. It feels like my soul is inside Lin's body, but both Lin and I have control of it. Die. Die! Damn, she can still fight. She really is a monster. Her arm is swollen from where the Tava hit it. The attack should have broken her bone. You can't move your arm if it's broken, but she's still holding that dagger. She's a killing machine right now. She won't be stopped with just a few attacks. Bring it on. It's kill or be killed. Don't do that, Lin. We'll lose if you try to catch up to her. What should I do now then? Should I fight until she passes out? No. She's just suggesting herself. She must have set some sort of condition to drop the suggestion so she wouldn't fight to the death. Suggestion is often removed in accidents, but the attacks didn't break her free. She must have just re-suggested herself. Kill on sight. It seems the suggestion will remain even if she's knocked unconscious. There must be something that will kill it when she's done with it. Hey, Lin, I think that flute. Every time Hisui moves, the flute she used to suggest herself keeps blowing. Killing Lin would cause her to stop moving and thus cause the flute to stop blowing. So, destroying the flute will stop her, right? Die! Whoa! Hisui attacks Lin, her faceless, uh, face expressionless. Whoa! She made a crater on the ground. I can't believe this. She cracked solid concrete with a kick. She could also finish us in one hit if one of us, if one of those attacks hits us. And with that power and speed, it's no easy task to get close to her. Jeez, how am I supposed to hit her flute? She's got no idea how to fight, just like me. But um. My heart begins to beat hard once again. With that, another vision emerges into my head. Hisui charges towards us while yelling and holding the dagger over her head. Lin! I know, she's going to charge towards us. Wow, she sees it immediately as we do apparently. Because our minds are still, or our thoughts or whatever, we're still connected. Our souls are just one right now. Before I tell her, Rin is, uh, Lin is already prepared for his Sui. Kill on sight! Kill on sight! It's exactly the same as, I, as what I saw. Hisui holds the dagger over her head and charges towards Lin. Those visions I saw could be... When I see visions in my head, they will happen in reality a few seconds later. So, I must be seeing visions of the near future, or perhaps I'm getting too lucky. I will believe in your visions of the near future, Tadayoshi. Lin backs me up, speaking directly into my mind. I can even give my faith over to you. I can sense that Lin is trusting me. I don't know why I can see these visions, but there's no other choice but to do it. Sharpen my heart. To focus on it, to imagine the blue butterfly. The blue butterfly always appears every time I have a vision, so the blue butterfly must be involved with my power. But um, my heart beats hard. That always seems to happen before a vision. It's hard just beats 
faster and harder and stronger and better, many visions are temptuously streaming into my head. I don't have to tell her. I will just share with Lin what I saw using her power. Ah! Lin shouts to stir herself. Kill! Kill! Hisui swings the dagger down at Lin's head, too fast for the eye to follow. Her dagger hits the ground, cracking it with a loud sound. Damn! Can't attack her yet! Lin dodges Hisui's attack and then jumps back. Swish! Hisui swings her dagger through the air right where Lin just was. I just saw a vision of Hisui swinging the dagger down at the ground and then landing her attack on Lin. It seems Lin saw the vision so she could jump back to avoid Hisui's attack. Hisui keeps on attacking Lin. Dang, she's relentless. Oh, it's over. Because of the vision, I already know how it ends. Ah! Lin shouts, echoes over everything. Calm down. I remember the vision Tadayoshi showed me. Hisui's got incredible strength and speed, but she never changes up the timing on her attacks. Hisui charges towards Lin. Ah! Lin closes her eyes and steadies her breathing. Kill! 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 Rah! Crack! Lin narrowly dodges Hisui's dagger, then shatters Hisui's flute with her tonfa. Hell yeah! Ah! Ah! Hisui drops to the ground with a short scream. She can't stand up because of the pain, which she hadn't felt till now because of her suggestion. <sighs> Did we win? Yeah, her eyes are rolling back. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Lin sits on the floor as if relieved. Snap! With a feeling of something being cut off, I can no longer see what Lin is thinking. It seems like there's some sort of... You don't see it visually, but there's some sort of line that connects us, right? It's not done yet. Damn it. She's still able to fight with those wounds? We thought Hisui was unconscious, but she suddenly stands up. But she's so badly wounded that she's tottering like a newborn animal. Oh. Oh, I can't die here until we take over the world for my master to lead. Hisui begins to say random things. Has she gone crazy? Hisui, I need to ask you something. There are things that I've been wondering for a long time. I've got no proof, but I can't think of anything else. You knew about me. Didn't you? And you mentioned your master. Are you the one who took me away from the Kurokawa family using your power? Asui smirks slightly for a brief moment. I didn't miss it, despite her calming appearance. You seem to know something, as I expected. <laughs> you were so close, but at least you've got a point. What do you mean? What did she mean by so close? Did I guess it wrong? I am only able to control children. I can't control adults or people in large areas unless they are willing. Also, I am only able to control people, not edit their memories. Hisui laughs and starts to talk back, looking defiant. She doesn't even attempt to run from us. Explain! You sound like you know something! Hisui shows me a sinister smile again. We may have the upper hand, but she's still terrifying. Well, I could tell you what I know if you let me go. Never! I don't know what you're saying, but tell us right here if you know something. Oh, well... You still have feelings for me. Lin, didn't you realize we were very close? 
Remember what I said? Your power doesn't work because they're... Hisui stops moving before she can finish speaking. She pauses for a moment, then grabs a dagger and points it at her own chest. Oh no, don't commit Sudoku. Don't! Wh what? What's going on? Why am I doing this against my will? Wait! Wait a minute! Please! What is happening to me? Was someone, so, someone or something controlling her? No matter how passionately she denies it, she's still holding the dagger in both hands, bringing it closer to her chest. I don't know what's happening, but Lin is looking down at her with a cold gaze. You lived your life doing whatever you wanted. I don't know who is doing this, but you deserve it. P -p please help me. Help me! I don't want to die like this! I I will do whatever you wish! I will give you money if you want! Just release me like you just did! Hisui begins to tear up, fearful of her approaching death. Damn! She's a criminal who tried to kidnap children. Among them, Alan, Myrna, and you. I can't leave her here. But I just can't let her die like this. It won't budge. Her strength is as powerful as the time she suggested herself. I tried to get the dagger out of her hands. But I can't. Help me. Save her, Lin. I don't want her to die here. She must confess her sins. I'm begging you, Lin. I know you've got things to say. But you need to help me now. It's too late for her. The edge of the dagger touches Hisui's chest. Oh no. After that, the dagger sinks into her as if she lost the will to resist it. No. No, no, no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die yet. Help me. Please. It hurts. It hurts. Ah. 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 Uh, oh, oh, oh. Rest in peace, Hisui. Hisui falls onto the ground, bleeding from her chest. I quickly check for signs of life, even though I know it's in vain. Sh she's dead. Her eyes are rolled upward, and I can't see her breathing, or hear rather. Hisui, under someone's suggestion, has died. You troubled me in the end. Did you forget who gave you that power? With conditions met, there's no way to break free. You know that full well. <laughs> you, you! The man in black appears from the back of the corridor. He slowly walks towards us, accompanied by the smell of gunpowder. Did you kill her? Well, let's just say she deserved the punishment for her prank. Punishment, you say? Is that how you kill someone? Please, don't say such era disreputable things. She just committed suicide. How dare you kill her like that? You shouldn't kill people just to make things convenient to you. I wanted Hisui to confess her sins. Even if I could get her, there's no point in killing someone over a grudge. Now, you finally come this far. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I don't really want to see you right now. My rage building up, but this wouldn't be a good time to fight him. With Lin exhausted, I won't stand a chance against him. There's no need to worry. I am not here to fight you at all. Then why are you here? What do you want from me? His intimidating presence is making me desperate. It's time to execute the deal. The one I told you about last time we met. The deal? I remember you said something like that. But I've got no time for this. 
Can you ask someone else? I knew it. It seems you have no time for it. The man in black stares at Lin. Oh no, this is exactly the same from before. Lin! <sighs> Lin passes out. I'm so shocked that I run towards Lin, ignoring the man in black. Lin! Hello? Lin! I lift Lin's upper body up and slap her cheek. Dang. <sighs> Lin doesn't respond. I put my ear close to her chest, knowing she'd scold me for touching her breasts. But um, but um, but um, I can hear her heartbeat. Then I put my ear close to her lips. I can barely hear her sleeping peacefully. Is she just sleeping? Oh my, did she use up her power? Use up her power? Didn't you notice how strange she'd act after she'd used her power? How strange she'd act? Could it be? Oh, I'm sleepy. It's still noon, you know. Didn't you sleep much yesterday? Shut up. I can't be hell help it. I'm really sleepy. Now I remember this. Lin was always sleepy after fighting or gambling. Hey, does Lin get sleepy after using her power? I mean, reading someone's mind? It seems to be the limitation of Veritas. I could explain it like, the more she uses her power, the more time she has to take from her presence. Lin has to take time from her present? In the form of sleeping it seems. Oh thank god. I actually thought he meant like every time she uses her power, she shortens her life. That would be way worse. But if she just used her power up, won't she wake up as soon as she's recovered? Just like usual. I'm not sure if she'll wake up. If it were her old self, she could wake up in time. <laughs> Come on! What does that mean? His way of speaking is irritating to me. I'm so angry, I end up raising my voice. Yes, it will be dangerous if she doesn't wake up. Dangerous? I mean, the signs of life from Veridis will be gone. With your help, she has awakened, so this coma should be the prize for the awakened power she used. The power to share consciousness that you just felt. <gasps> Holy crap. After the epic battle against Tsui, which we for some how managed to win. I don't freaking know why, but apparently we had to lock our powers to do so. But holy crap, Lin is unconscious now though, so this is bad. She might not even wake up, so hopefully we can do something for her in the next video. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!